Let's learn how we can use Excel's autofill feature to create a series of values. Now let's say we want to store a unique identifier for each of the products. So it's very typical in businesses and companies to have product IDs or product numbers which are unique to each product they have. And similarly, we want to have a product ID for our products and for me to create a new column to store that information let me just choose all these values and then right click insert and this will shift the cells to the right and insert a new set of cells here and now i can type in product id and hit enter now all the formats are very different but that's fine so we can come back and fix all the formatting to look better, but let's focus on how we can enter numbers here in this product ID column. So let's assume that we have product IDs beginning from one, two, three, four, and onwards. So we would like to enter one, two, three, four, and they would be the unique product IDs, one for each of the books we have. And the first book, let's type in one in cell A3, and then hit enter two in the next one and then three so we can type one by one but we can also use excel's autofill feature again so let's see how that can save us time so we have typed in one if i go to the fill handle to the right corner of the cell and then double click excel is going to auto populate about all the cells with one and excel is doing that because Excel is just copy the content from cell A3 into all the cells until cell A17. Let me just change the width of these columns so that we can actually see them more clearly. So now you are able to see all the cells on your screen. So Excel was just copying the ones all over, right? So let's delete all these ones again and then do the autofill again double click all our ones and you see the smart icon here so if i click the smart icon now you see an extra option that we didn't see before in the previous videos because excel is now having a number to work with and excel is saying i can actually fill the series and right now the copy cells was selected so one was copied all over but you also have the option of filling the series so let's select fill series and now excel was able to have 1 to 15 and this is great because excel is trying to create a series or a pattern by incrementing one for every cell so one two three four all the way to 15. so excel is capable of filling a series very quickly using this autofill feature where you can not only copy exactly the same cell but also fill a series and there is also another way to implement the same thing so let me do undo and you can also keep pressing the control key while you actually drag the fill handle and when i press the control key you can see that there is an extra plus sign near the fill handle and that indicates that now when i click and drag while still holding the control key on my keyboard excel is now filling it with a series and when i remove both my keyboard control key and also my mouse click now you see 1 to 15 and you click the smart icon you see that fill series was applied instead of copy cells so this is a pretty good shortcut uh, select a cell and if you want to create a series then you would just press control and then the fill handle and then drag it and then that would create a series since we typed one and then we created a fill series then excel works this way excel can also detect a pattern for example let me delete these and let's say our product ids are not one two three our product ids are one three five seven so i can enter one and then enter three in the next cell. And now when I select these two and then I drag it, 
Excel is automatically thinking, oh, I'm trying to fill a series because Excel is detecting that I am entering numbers in a pattern like one and then three and then five. So Excel is automatically thinking, oh, I have to add two to each cell to create the next cell. So Excel is adding two to three and then it creates a five and then adds two more to create seven all the way through. So Excel is filling a series based on the pattern that it's detecting. Excel can detect a variety of patterns in the data and it can automatically create a series like this. We will be seeing some of those in the upcoming videos. So now one more thing, let's say in this case, we don't want Excel to actually create a series. I just want Excel to repeat one and three again and again. Then I can just choose copy cells and now Excel will copy whatever I entered originally and then paste it again and again and again. So Excel, you can easily control what Excel is doing, whether it's copying the cell as it is or filling a series automatically or only filling with formats and not, not the values or you can fill the values without any of the formatting being copied. So you have a variety of options in creating repeated data or creating a series very, very quickly using the autofill feature. So for now, I want to go back and gen then enter just our 1 to 15 quickly. And this is what I would like my product IDs to be. And I'm going to quickly clean up the formatting to make it look the way we want it to look. And now I have entered all the information. Now I have formatted it the same way as we had before. And now we have our list of books table updated with the product IDs.